Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I wanted to review all the jeans that I have in my jean collection. And specifically, I wanted to compare my Levi's straight leg jeans to my Everlane cheeky jeans because those are two styles that I really love to wear and they are pretty similar. So for reference, I am five foot three inches and I have a pretty straight body type with not a lot of waist definition, but I do have a bigger booty, which is great. <laughs> so the styles that I'm usually looking for when it comes to jeans is something that really cinches me in at my waist and gives me that definition that I don't have. And the ones that I'm gonna talk about today, they really do that for me. So if you have a straight, body type this might be really helpful so I did want to mention one last thing and that's that it took me a long time to buy all these jeans probably over five six years so if you are excited to build your own jean collection know that it will take some time and I also never paid full price for any of these because I bought a lot of them secondhand on Poshmark and then the rest I bought on sale at like the Levi's outlet store so if you are just getting started with building your jean collection you know Look around in the secondhand market, look around on sale, and before you know it, you'll have some really great jeans. Okay, so I'm gonna start with my Levi's jeans first, and I have two in my closet. One is wedgie straight, and one is just regular wedgie fit, and I have them both in a size 26, but they're actually different in terms of measurements. The wedgie straight measures 14 inches in the waist, and the regular wedgie is 14 and a half. So this first one that I'm wearing is the wedgie straight, and it's 99% cotton, 1% elastane, and again, it's size 26, 10 and a half inch rise and the waist measures 14 inches. So this one fits me really comfortably. I forgot to mention, but I have a 28 inch waist. So I like to get jeans that measure like 13 to 14 inches in the waist because then they fit me really comfortably and they kind of cinch me in a little bit. So these Levi's wedgie straights are also cropped with a frayed hem and I really love this color. It's like a really nice medium deep blue that I think is really classic and it goes with a lot of things in my closet. And I'm gonna try to find this exact same jean and link it in the description box, but if I can't find the exact same color and style, I will leave something similar. So check out the description box. Okay, so next I'm wearing the Levi's Wedgie, and this is a lighter wash. The color is Shut Up, which is uh, funny, but this one is made from 100% cotton, and I think that's why it doesn't sit the same on my body, so Again, this one is a size 26 and 10 and a half inch rise, but the waist measures 14 and a half inches. And so when I wear these jeans, they tend to kind of slip down on my waist. So if, when I start wearing them, they're kind of up high at my belly button, but throughout the day, they just like slouch down really quickly. And I think that has to do with the more rigid cotton. So I actually have these listed for resale on my Poshmark account, which I'll link down below if you happen to be the same size. and want to check those out, but I did just want to include these in this review just to show you the difference in sizes even though it's the same labeled size. So next I want to compare those Levi's jeans to my Everlane cheeky jeans. I have two pairs. The first one is the original cheeky jean in the washed black and then I also have the 90s cheeky jean in this medium blue and the fit is kind of similar to the Levi's straight leg. That's why I wanted to compare the two. So. First up, I have this washed black one, and again, this is the original Cheeky Jean, the first one that they came out with. And I have both of these in the size 25, and this first one is 98% cotton, and has a 10 inch rise and a 13 and a half inch waist. And I actually really love how this specific jean fits me because it's a little bit stretchy, it has that high rise, it really cinches me in at the waist, and I love this washed black color as well. And I think just the way the cheeky jean is made, the style, the actual like jean parts that are sewn together, they're made in a way that make your butt and your legs and your waist just look really good. So for instance, if I compare the high rise between the Levi's wedgie straight and this cheeky jean, the wedgie straight is a 10 and a half inch rise. And this cheeky jean is a 10 inch rise, but I feel like it looks better somehow. It looks higher. Uh, again, it could be just the way the jean is made. I think that their seam that goes uh, between the legs is like positioned just a little bit different. So it still looks even more high rise than the other one, even though technically when I measure it, it should be more lower rise. I hope that wasn't too confusing. <laughs> I'm confusing myself as I'm talking here. Okay, so moving on to my other Everlane jean. This is the 90s cheeky jean. 
And this one I also have in a size 25 and this is 100% cotton. So these also have a 10 and a half inch rise and the waist measures 14 inches. And these are a little bit stiff because they're 100% cotton, but they're much softer than my Levi's that are 100% cotton. So keep that in mind. And again, I think just the way this jean is shaped, the fact that it kind of cinches in at the waist, that like seam between the legs, it fits my body really well and uh, I just really love this fit. I love this color. I think this is my favorite jean that I have in my closet right now. So all these jeans that I've mentioned so far you can buy for around $100 either from Levi's Everlane or some kind of other store where you can find them on sale. But I wanted to mention one more jean that I have that I really love and they are from Old Navy. I know that that doesn't really fit into this review, but they fit my body really well and they're much cheaper than any of these other ones. So I do want to share these with you guys too. So these are the extra high rise sky high straight jeans and I got these about a year ago. These are in the size zero and they are 99% cotton, 1% elastane. So they have that really great like rigid but slightly stretchy feel to them they're an 11 inch rise so this is my highest rise and the waist measures 13 and a half inches so i think what i really love about these jeans is the higher rise because just that little half an inch higher it just really cinches my waist even better and i love the more like straighter relaxed leg the wash is really great so this was definitely like a jean unicorn that i found and i originally bought this to wear at home around the house and I didn't want to spend a lot of money on them. I think I bought these for around $40 and they look really good still and yeah, highly recommend these guys as well. And now that I'm really thinking about it, I think that these two jeans are kind of tied in the race of which one is my favorite because I love that they're like a different shade and they fit my body a little bit differently and they're like perfect for different occasions. And I actually wear these at home around the house, which is very surprising because again, these are like 100% cotton, 99% cotton, but as I wear them over and over again, they're getting softer and softer and very comfortable to wear for long periods of time. I hope you guys found this helpful, especially if you have a body that's similar to mine. Again, I'm a little bit petite at 5'3", I have shorter legs and I forgot to mention that most of my jeans are like cropped or a shorter inseam and that's what I really love about Everlane and Old Navy because over there you can actually choose your length which is really great because before I would always like have jeans that are way too long on me and I would be rolling them up and it's not a look that I like so yeah. I'll have these jeans linked down below in the description box if they're still available for you guys to buy and if you guys have watched this video all the way to the end then why don't you go ahead and check out my channel. I have a lot of videos on style, slow fashion, and how to build a good quality wardrobe for yourself in like a slow fashion, relaxed way without rushing out and buying everything at once. Consider subscribing and following along.